Hi right, everyone, so if you're having trouble using JMOL for the last part of the bioinformatics lab, then instead of going on the PDB uh, website to use the JMOL app they have there, which is highly reduced in functionality, you can go download JMOL itself from this site, jmol.sourceforge.net slash download. From this you can follow the download link and download the zip file, which if you uh, unpack that onto your desktop will give you the following folder. Now as long as you have uh, Java installed, then you can use the jar file here, jmol.jar. So if you open this up, you'll get uh, the jmol program. If you click File, Get PDB, you can hit type 1B0U, and you'll get the ball and stick model for your protein. So if you zoom out of this a little bit, and then right click, go Style, Scheme, Cartoon, so you get a nice little cartoon representation of your protein. So you're going to want to make this all gray so that you can highlight and color only the parts that you want. So if you right click, sorry, if you right click uh, and go to console, you can write select all. I'm sorry the video bugs a little bit. This app isn't really that great. Uh, so you can just go color gray and then everything will become gray. And you can select just the parts that you want, so motif A is from 39 to 46. And then we can color this, let's say blue. So this will show up here. And then you can select the other uh, parts. So if you look here, it's 154 to 161. So select 154 to 161. And we're going to color that green. So that shows up as well. And then the last one is 174 to 178, and we'll color that in red. So you can see you have your three moieties. You can comment on what kind of um, structure that they have. The next thing you need to do is show where the ETPs are and how close they are to each of these domains. So to do that, you can type in select ligand, and then right click in the middle here and go style scheme ball and stick which will only apply to your to your ATP so you can see are the three green ATPs in your model and you can then comment on how close they are to each of these you can see there's one close to the red domain one close to the green domain and this one's kind of far off so there's nothing really close to this blue one the next thing to do is find where all the aspartates are and then uh, show which atom in one of these aspartates is closest to the nearest atom in motif A. I know it's a bit confusing the way it's described on the website, but just uh, do exactly as I do. So right click on the screen in the select menu, go into protein, by residue name, and then go into aspartate. And then right click again, select, display selected only. So now you have only the aspartate residues. So if you right click one more time, I'm sorry, this is a really buggy program. Then you can go style, scheme, ball, and stick. So now you'll get the atoms themselves in the amino acid. And you can give this any color you want. I'm going to give it yellow. So we can differentiate from everything else. So because you're looking at motif A, you're going to want to give that a ball and stick model as well. So you're going to want to get that back up. So if you go select 39 to 46 that it was, you get it back here. So again, you right click, go into style, scheme, ball and stick and you can give it its color back because it loses it when you change the style and then display all when you do this you'll get your entire protein with everything selected so now the blue one here is your motif A and everything that's in yellow are your aspartates you still have your other domains here that are selected so if you look closely you can see that this aspartate is fairly close to motif A and that's the one that's really the closest one so if you zoom into that just play around with it for a bit. You can see that these two atoms are really the closest to each other. So if you then grab the ruler tool, you can disregard this completely. Uh, just click on the first atom and then click on the closest atom. What you can see here is 0.253 nanometers away. You can then rotate this to any confirmation you want to be able to better see uh, what you're looking at. And if you take screenshots throughout this, you'll be able to finish uh, everything for this part quite quickly. So good luck with everything else.